In this video, we are going through the basic configuration of the ZLJ24 control board, which you can manage a variety of swing gates operators. When you first power the board, you'll see that the display is set in Italian. To change this, you need to hold the enter button for one second to go to the menu system. The first option is the language. So press enter and then the left or right arrow buttons until it says English. Press enter to confirm. As you can see, we have two errors related to safety devices. The reason is that by default they are enabled and since they use a normally closed contact, not having anything connected there will cause the error message. In my case I'm not going to use the total stop feature so I need to disable it by going to functions and press enter. Then using the arrows go to the option called total stop. Press enter and change it to disable. And press enter to confirm. Continuing in functions, look for the option CX input. There you can select the behavior of the input CX, where you can connect photo cells or any other safety device with a normally closed contact. C1 is the most common option, which is open while closing. For details on other options, check the manual. If you don't have anything plugged in the CX input, you need to modify this option until it says disable. In my case, I do have a photo cell installed in pin CX, so I'll leave it in the option C1. Repeat the same for CY input and CZ input which in this case I don't have anything connected, so I'll make sure they are disabled. Now when we exit the menu, the errors are gone and it should show the welcome screen. The next step is to set the number of motors that we're going to use. So enter the menu system and use the arrows until it says imp run and press enter. The first option is number of motors. Press enter and switch between M1 plus M2 if you're going to use two operators. Or select M2 if you're going to use only one operator. Press enter to confirm. Continuing to the right, we can select the motor type. Select the model of the operator you're going to use that in my case is an AXO. and press enter to confirm. It's a good idea to manually test the operator by going to test mod in the main menu. If you hold the left arrow, motor number one should open as long as you hold the button. If you hold the right arrow, motor number two should open. If any of the motors are moving in the closing direction, Follow the steps in the instructions for the type of motor to reverse the opening direction. If your operator has an encoder, first make sure it's enabled by going to functions and config. If your operator doesn't have an encoder, select the correct option accordingly to your model. For example, the frog operator that uses limit switches needs to be in this one. And also set the limit switches to normally open. But I have an operator that uses encoder, so I'll leave it there. The next step is to calibrate the encoder so it can learn the entire run of your gate. To do that, enter the menu and select Encoder and press Enter. Press the left arrow until you see the option Set Encoder and press Enter. Confirm Yes and the operators will close and open on their own. When you finish opening, the calibration is completed. If you want to add a remote control, 
you must have the AF card installed on the control board. Hold enter for one second to enter the menu system. Now use the arrows until it says users and press enter. Select add user and confirm yes. Then select the associated function that would be 2 and 7 to open and close the gate or open for the remote control to only open the gate. When you press enter, the screen will show waiting code, which indicates that you must press the button for the remote control that you want to program. For the remote to work, you need to exit the menu system, so wait a few seconds or press escape to be able to test it. Something that you might want to change is the automatic closing. In timing adjustment, you will see ACT, which is the amount of seconds that is going to pass before closing automatically. Change that number if you want and press enter. To disable automatic closing, go to functions and look for auto close and disable it. If you want to send an open command, connect a normally open pulse between 2 and 3. Here you could connect, for example, a ground loop for a free exit. You can also send the commands between 2 and 7, and you can configure the behavior and functions. There are a lot more options, so I invite you to check out the manual. Link in the description. I hope it was helpful and thank you for choosing Kame for your automation solution.